Uh, Orange Esports, they are known to be good on the Granger Mao, but his substitute is going to be Your the Bruno. The Orange Esports, picking. they will ban out the jaw hit. Currently, they are lacking in terms of the Kimi. aggression here, but Your yeah, speaking of aggression here, picking. they're going to be going for the Kimi from the side of Orange Esports, and I'm worried here because right now, Kufra is super tanky, but it's not as tanky as uh, Uranus, but they need something to actually play the long games here. In this case, Evo's SG is going to be picking the Nana just because of that, and I feel like Nana fits the picture perfectly if they want to go for the Uran Uranus matchup here. Yeah, I think Nana is definitely fine with it. There's the show as well. You did say that Evo's actually plays a really disgusting show. Well, guess what? They're going to bring it out on that first game against Orange Esports Reborn. We have a game on our hands. No. This is going to be a tough Your one here, but I picking. feel like JPL tank and the offlane Farsa potentially, Nana mid, uh, but I'm not sure it's going to happen or not. We see a little bit of mix-up here before compared towards the MPL Indonesian side here. They, they do play Farsa offlane occasionally and Nana mid, but it's only once, no. only once ever. That once one ever. time. That right? one time, but they, they played it so well, it actually worked out. But uh, now seeing uh, that the Tamus, is that a Tamus? Yes, yeah, Tamus. Yeah, the Tamus being picked here to deal with the Uranus. Fantastically done here, and I think Orange Eastman has done their homework. But will they be able to fare well? I don't know. But as of now, let's take a look at what they have to say to each other. Orange is for us. Many of them before, I know got the fruit orange. They're not for me to eat. Eh? To evolve SD, before this, you win because Toda gives you a chance. Uh, after this, you will not get any chance from us. Axis Esports said that about Orange Esports last week and they lost. <laughs> so, we'll see if it was actually can uh, back up that claim. But Maybe. It, it could happen, but so far, Uranus uh, is, is, is not exactly the easiest draft to play because it's Welcome heavily dependent on macro gameplay legends. and the game sense as well. So, I believe Evos can pull Five it off. They have till the enemy played some insane games like Smash this before, them. but I wouldn't be surprised. But as of now, let's take a look at to his game deploy. number one of the final series here today in day number two, week two, MPL MYSG. It's going to be EVO's SG on the blue side and Orange Esports on the red side here. Yo, Orange Esports going to face their demons. And then EVO's SG and Flame Shots are already flying out. Aaron takes one, Sayo takes one as well. But it seems like EVO's SG are the one getting the priority. And this is not looking good for Orange Esports. They get the knockout onto Mom, but it's just JPL. So not much damage. Mom is the cool with the bouncing ball. They're gonna retaliate onto JPL as they disengage. Well, they don't mind contesting in the middle side here, drawing a little bit of chip damage because immediate transition for the Bulbasaur is the game plan here. But you can see Orange Esports, they're getting desperate. They want to contest Evo's SG as quickly as they can. Meanwhile, on the bottom side as well, they do know that uh, Soul is going to be doing soul things here with the Uranus. So they're going to be matching up Greggo and also the Uranus down the bottom side here. So this is going to be the potential off lane instead here. The safe lane has switched between the off lane throughout the series now. Yep. And right now, I think it's just it's going to be a stalemate in the bottom lane. Line with the with Mom on top of him. Here comes JPL, gets the knockout onto Mom. Forza is here as well. And the flicker will be forced out. Yep, Orange is going to be taking their attention up to his top side as well, making sure that Mal gets his uh, protected farm because he knows Tamus doesn't really need to be protected here. Same goes for Evos, they want to focus on the attention in top here. So, very similar strategies coming from top side, but uh, from both teams. But Orange Esports, are they going to be able to respond in time here? Because as of now, Aaron, uh, Bambi is already level 4, and here comes the Feathered. Have, sorry. Better air strike. Yeah, I'm. I'm... <laughs> but here comes the collapse of Orange Esports. They want to make something happen. Oh dear, Bambi's gonna fly away as a peacock. JPL does not have the ultimate yet. He gets knocked out by the Tyrant's Rage. They dodge the Sanguine Claw and he was actually wants to disengage. JPL not too lucky. Getting dashed all by flickers away as well. Tempest of it comes down. JPL still has the Shun Pole. Mal not able to secure the kill. And he was actually they lose no one. Well, Orange Esports here tries to overcommit to that here, and JPL bought so much time for this, and you can see Orange Esports, they're committing every single player up top, and they're still not getting any kind of objectives here, but now they need to force this objective before the Uranus starts to come up online, and Grego is doing the same thing, following, shadow stepping, whatever uh, they are doing here. However, now, first blood going in favor of Mom as Orange Esports gets a kill and Bappy forced the retreat JPL. here. JPL can he selfish his fight and here comes Forza from the side. Here comes the carry. He gets a kill, but the Sicilian will retaliate as well with 2 to 1. 
Oh, Ma was ready, so Orange Esport getting a better instant. trade. They kill off both Forza uh, and Lon, but it is okay. The Nanana passive Force star Orange Esports have more space to work with. Uh, they have yet to address so though. So it might it is a slightly worrying situation for Orange Esports. But with Mao coming online due to that kill with the Bounty Hunter, it should be okay for Orange Esports. Yep, so now getting choked out here for three heroes at the same time, but at the same time he managed to back off instead and he's super quick here. Can he make it out alive here? So getting time for hard, but he's on 20 stack. Look, here Ooh. comes the shield again. He's gonna buy a little bit more time for the rest of Evo's SG, but he will he pay with life, he gets paid here for always standing his stay. The rest of the teams from Evo SG is in no position to help him. Yeah, the ro mm, slightly questionable call from Evo SG. Not really sure what the comms was to go for the re-engage. They, they should have just ran away. Uh, they need a bit more time for the cause though, Mom. Trying to look for Bambi, but gets transformed by the Molina Polymorph as well. It only is what they're gonna go for the turtle instead. Oh, this is not looking too good for Avos SG because Soul has died here. Bottom side, you saw a huge creep wave pressure in the bottom side here. And JPL is gonna try and defend against this here by Grango. He's gonna do Grango things this time. So is gonna go head to head against the Tamos here. They're gonna force so many teams. However, on the top side as well, Bambi in some trouble. They wanna finish him off, but on the bottom <gasps> side, Soul, they get actually the kill onto the Tamos. Farsa gets dived off from Mao instead, and they get a double kill for Mao. Orange Esports faring 50 50 against Evo's SG, and they're actually taking command of this game, Alski. So, that's so unlucky. Two members of Orange Esports were. One hit away from dying, one for the fact that Astra and one from uh, Nana's ultimate. Slightly unfortunate circumstances right there, but Mao, great response. Always at the right place at the right time. Uh, killing off the Farsa once more. Um, Bambi did talk about how his performance wasn't that good last uh, last year during M1 and C games. Um, I, I feel like he's still kind of struggling in that department. However, EOS SG, cannot, you cannot count them out. They do have an experienced coach, handpicked by one of the best coaches in Southeast Asia. I think they can make a comeback from this. Hopefully here, but at the same time, Lang goes in for first, pops the ultimate here, doesn't connect, but instantly gets catch off, Polymorph is there, where's the flame shot? Can they land the shot? No, he cannot, and they're getting kicked from JPL. Mom is there, but it is after all the tag. Here comes the feather airstrike to zone them off, and Orange Esports, they disengage, and they came here prepared. They fear Evo's Esports SG, but looks like they are no longer afraid. They are kicking back. Well, of all the targets, they kick the Kufra back. Unfortunately, Kufra a bit too tanky for them to kill off. But Grango and Soul will now both match each other in the top lane. Orange East will still have yet to answer this Uranus. And, uh, yeah, this one there was from that slight mistake of the re uh, to re-engage. Uh, but it was actually, they are going to just hold out the way for now. Uh, their main concern is definitely Mal on that uh, link. Definitely here, but at the same time, JPL is gonna try to defend this here. But here comes double flame shots coming in. JPL in some trouble. He's gonna get bursted down. He's gonna survive. The flicker is there, but it's not gonna be enough. He's now opening up tier one. Oh! A huge Zyrus revenge from Mom. Catches until Evos. They're in some trouble. Triple kill for Mom. He's looking for more. Forza getting dived up, but now the overextend gets punished here, and Forza will. Take oh, him down Forza. and he's on one HP. Mom, does he get a slap? Oh, regen from there. Save his life. And Mom almost takes Fossa down. And Evo's SG, they're Ooh. getting pushed back hard by this oranges here. It grew into a pumpkin, Huskin. I, I think you need to read more science because I don't think orange grows into pumpkin. But I would say they definitely are growing wings. They're soaring right above the tigers. And it's hard for Evo's SG to claw, uh, to, to, catch, to catch them, at least for now. Or is Eastwood though? Uh, great decision making, great game sense. They were able to catch all the oh! baby, but oh, Loon! Well, Silo caught out, and now Mom's gonna be the next target. Kicked back, but he does manage to flick, uh, to get to safety before that ultimate from uh, from JPL. Mom on the Kufra playing out his mind here. Can they blink some kind of plays here? So has not made his duty done yet here. Grego is just countering him on his finals. They are going head to head against each other, but here comes the Kufra. He's half HP. JPL is just mocking his way. Trying to find the right angles to go for the way of the dragon, but seems to me they have bigger objectives here from Sada Evo's SG. Seems like an engaged mom playing with fire literally and Odia Bambi getting caught out again! Right in the open! That is not how it should be. Mal with seven kills now on the link. This link is out of control here with the red buff already. They don't even need the Sicilian for this fight, but now with Kimi on the board, they are gonna try and push towards the middle tower here, but little didn't you know. Husky, this Sicilian is on the supportive role. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, now that you mention it, Mom, again, engaged with the Tyrant's Revenge, Tyrant's Rage, getting the damage in, Lon needs to get away. And he does survive, JPL, great defense right there. Sanguine Color does catch him, but not enough damage to kill him off.
what? Eren is actually on the support emblem instead here. So this is interesting uh, play styles coming from Warrior Esports. And I think it might actually work out because Evo's e SG, they have no reply to this. And finally, Orange Esports, they're playing one step ahead of Evo's SG, but one bad team fight. Things might go south for Orange Esports, but they have to be very careful with this. Let's look at where So is. <laughs> Yeah. So they're bringing back Mom and uh, Mal. Uh, I don't think So can get out nice of fight. this. It's just gonna buy it time. Is fine. I, I don't think it's fine anymore. No, nope, Aegis. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Mal on top of this. Or maybe not. Oh, it, I think it's oh, fine. Oh, oh, oh. It's fine. Wait, sidestep. Sidestep. Oh, it's fine. Okay, not in range. Where's backup though? He's still gonna die. Yeah, but. Yeah, this, quite enough time. this is the play that Soul needs to make because why? He forced so many rotations and this opens up the map for Evo's SG and now they got the kill down bottom here. Evo's has a little bit of breathing room here but here comes the lane. He's gonna go in for the dive bomb. Going for the range. He oh. catches onto Bambi again. JTL with the way the Dragon here but it, this time was just so tanky. Lord, it it would only be worth it you. if Bambi didn't die. He flew right into, uh, into Vision so... Uh, Bambi not having the best game. But props to Sova creating, creating that space. They got the tier 2 bot. Yeah, Link struggles. Farsa struggles with Link a lot just because of how Link is able to close the gap very safely and efficiently compared to any other heroes here. So in this case, Orange Esports, they're playing to the beat here. They're 3k never in advantage, but so mixed from the side of Evo's SG. The Uranus needs to make more plays than this right now. And they're going to be banging on Farsa to get up those items here. He's on 3 one, 1 at the moment, and they are trying to drag this game as long as they can. Yeah, and so at a level disadvantage against Grango as well. So he's going to struggle uh, if he if he goes out against Grango like that. Uh, because of the state of the map, they haven't gotten the tier 1 in the top and the middle lane yet. So so has pretty little space to work with, whereas Orange East was, I think, they're setting up for another dive. Yeah, these two tanks here are just banging on each other all the way through here. Who is tankier here? However, so he's got 20 stacks. Granko, he's just baiting his way his through into this team fight here. And this is a long drawn out fight between these two tanky heroes. Yeah, it's those scenarios where everyone is just banging themselves on the wall. But Orange East was starting on that Lord. It was SG. Do they have a response for the Lord? JPL, he knows. The team knows, but it's too late. Lord has been slain, and now Orange Esports looking for a retaliation. Mao goes right in, gets pushed back by the flame shot. They knock him out, they kick him back, they need to finish him out. Do they have the damage by the end? It comes out, and they finish off the lane. Great retaliation from Evo's SG. Oh, that's uh, exactly the target they needed here. JPL catching on the lane, but this is going to be an opportunity for them here. Granko, where are you doing? Here comes Forza. Surprise, surprise. Double kill for him. And Evo's SG, they lose the lore, but they get two kills. A little bit of breathing room to work with here, but. What a play there from JPL, catching off the link in time. Holy cow, so... Uh, yeah, in the battle of the tanks, unfortunately, backup arrived for EVOS SG and... Uh, Grango goes down, so So finally has more space to work with, but JPL is not done. Go try and better air strike. Does stun out Mum though, is the Kufa pretty tanky? EVOS SG, they don't want to commit to that. Yeah, they have to play this safe here, but now Forza has finally come up on...
passes. Oh, it was MG. So Farsa and yeah, Cecilia. Yeah, they have to respect that. They have to respect that because, like, the Cecilia coming in from uh, Aaron was very, very annoying as well. The Tyrants Ling. Uh, four, the four man tyrants, uh, three man tyrants range to set up with the Cycling Sword to make it all four uh, gave them a shock for their life. But Orange Esports was not ready here. But it seems to me they're going to be prioritizing the thing again. But at the same time, Evo's SG has the option to pick the job. Kufra, yeah. they want to. Oh, it was actually Your going back uh, to uh, uh, another Grok. what do you call a more standard opening, right? It reminds me of Boss School, uh, slightly of Toda because of um, you know more team oriented, and it makes sure it also makes sure that you're safe against the link as well. So last game, I believe Orange Esports had the Kufra, um, but this time it's going to be on Evo's e uh, SG's side. Yes, but at the same time here now, Grok is going to disappear from side of Orange Esports. They do not have a Cecilia here. They have to switch up the strategy here. But it seems to me they are going to be picking the Carmilla. Carmilla. Okay, I like Your that. Team Evo's team actually did plan it in the first game here. Yep. Now they are going to be picking the Carmilla. So a little bit more sustained and tankability here. But at the same time, Evo's actually they've shown their hands. Kufra and Diggy as the two supports here. Mm -hmm. Do you? I don't think the Yuri is going to play in the play anymore. I don't think it's going to exist anymore. I mean, if they pick Uranus, it also means that Forza and uh, Forza and Ode Bambi have to play hyper carry and they need to have a really good game. So yeah, I agree. I don't think Uranus is going to be in a picture. It will be the Tamus That's instead. The thing, Husky. They played the Uranus just now, like how they played the Tamus, right? Yeah. So they needed an off laner, and I feel like Tamus fits the picture. Yeah, uh, they, they might play the exact same thing again. Coming from Evo's edge. I think you also kind of deny the Uranus pick from Orange Esports Your as well. Uh, yeah, I was about to. I, I wanted to say, uh, Evo's actually can pick the Harif. It deals pretty well with all these three heroes, but Orange Esports ban it out. Pretty smart ban. I like it. They, they, they still have the Lunas for Bambi. He's, he's been known for his Lunas for for a period of time, but. Uh, Esmeralda is kind of like the niche pick as it's well. It's pretty iffy though. Yeah, it's definitely iffy for me as well. It, I mean, if you pick the Esmeralda it's into Orange Esport, there's a higher chance of you dying by diving in like that. I, I don't. But there is the time journey to work around it, but it depends. It depends on how they're going to play. Luna. Your team is picking. I definitely Orange. prefer the Lunox more. You have the brilliance to kind of deal with Ling if he just dives you like that. Not to mention to actually negate uh, Carmilla's ability to actually soak up his regen as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you like club up as 3, you just pop the ultimate from Carmilla, you pop a first skill with the breastplate available and Oracle, boom, full, H full HP. So it's it's kind of like a hybrid thing, but it's super hard to actually pull it off. But it seems to me, Orange Spot, old school, jaw head support, and old state. Oh, wait, what? Boo. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. They don't have a mage. They don't have a mage for Morish Esports, except this, for Carmilla. Is this a Carmilla? No, no way. No way. Carmilla mage? No. Like, <laughs> no. No. So no. they're they foregoing the mage. Wait, they're just gonna go all in right now, like from the get go. Because if they drag this, they game. Evo actually has enough utilities to deal with all the physical damage first that RG was coming. And they're all horrible against Lunas' magic damage as well. Exactly. Bruno. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Evo uh, SG, they lock in Bruno for this, Fossa. This is scary. This is, this is scary. Like, I, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. Okay. This is a different kind of strategy, but... Um, I don't know, they're, they're banging on the map control thing because like Grok, Creep Clear, amazing. Xbox, Creep Clear, amazing. Team fight potential, they have uh, Jaw Hit as a lockdown as well. They have the full composition. The only thing they're knacking is magical damage. But I don't know, we shall see because they are the pros. We are here to analyze. But ladies and gentlemen here, this is going to be Evo's SG going up against Orange Esports Report. Game number two here, Orange Esports. With this draft here, Husky, I'm worried. I'm really worried right now. Because experience plays a huge factor in this kind of league tournaments, and Evo SG is, uh, in this case, has the upper hand against Orange Esports. Yeah, and I think um, for this one, I want to see how Orange Esports perform uh, with this draft. Right, the game is ready. We're gonna jump in game two between Evo SG, between Evo SG and Orange Esports Reborn. Uh, Evo Orange Esports known to be chaotic from time to time, and and this is this is perfect for that occasion. But I'm not sure if it's going to work out in the long run. We'll, well see. Well, you're right here because why? Carmilla is actually going for the magic emblem instead. So okay. the damage is going to be coming from Aaron. 
and I'm not sure how it's going to be versing anyone here as compared to Bambi's uh, burst, but still, we shall find out. Silo going to be going for a couple of pokes here. Evo's SG, they want to stick as three men in the middle here. They want to prioritize on this mid control before actually diversifying, hoping to get a couple of lucky kills. I feel like you are just surrendering a lane by running Carmilla as a mage. I'm sure you have good wave clear, but if they are all sticking together like this, then Evo's SG, they are already trying to control. Uh, they, I, I think they're going to bang on the Camilla's massive as well, just steal off whatever armor that they have and then hope that your team just bursts down. But in this game here now, the Google Fight, nice save shot coming from Blood and then a second one as oh, well, wow. they're hiding in the way and Origi spawns Eric dropping a little bit too low here. Bambi wants going for the kill and fortunately for him, uh, he does have life still here. He used to be Evo's SG. What? what? The bombs! Oh the my bomb god! He actually set the bomb up! Uh, in the other side of the map, I believe. He, he set up the bomb. Oh my god! He walked right into it. That's holy that's cow! Trap mine right there. That's a uh, two hundred IQ from Lun. Wow. But I say, yeah, like wow. zero. Like, what can Eric contribute in that scenario? I'm not sure as of now. But Silo, Bar Bruno, if Jack came here, comes the smart man. So Forza able to dash away. But today the Guardians barrier. Yes, they do. Mao is gonna collapse onto him and kill him off. Here he does have both the red and the blue buff here. So Mao is gonna be all eggs in the basket for Morgi Spots. If he was actually kills him right now, Morgi Spots is in some trouble. But here comes Mao again. He's gonna abuse it here. He's gonna burst down Bambi. Instantly gets shut down as well. Stained by Mom. And now Lon forced to retreat. He was actually two to two right now. And Morgi Spots, this drop is actually working out for them. Yeah, and and I like how Mom always knows where to go. Uh, how to prioritize? How to prioritize? You know, get, getting the kills in. Uh, that's what Ma did in game one, which got him such a huge advantage come mid game. Uh, we'll see if he can repeat that success because I feel like if Orange Esports wants to run this draft, Ma needs to do the same thing as he did in game one. Now Ma's going to be opening the map here. He's going to decide here. While and meanwhile, on the top side as well, we can see on the mini map itself here, a soul is already going to be cutting in creep wave, similar to how he plays the Uranus in game number one. Bambi is gonna bottom side here, but instead, Soul gets punished here with a three man group up from Ori G Spot as Drenko gets the kill. Yeah, Ori G Spot, they still sticking together to get those kills onto Evo's SG, but there's all this kind of negligible pickoffs. You are still looking at Evo's SG's scores, which are having, I wouldn't say the best time, but in a decent position. And, uh, Touching three wave as well. Yes, he fares well against the Tavos as well in terms of long range. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the big sustainability partner here, uh, Drenko, I, I don't know. Xbox is not like in the meta for me, honestly speaking. But quick here, without doubt, is really strong. But now they try to right, contest the great map. Can they oh. get it? But oh, the war chart gets cancelled. Mom is gonna make a run for it here, but the flame shot doesn't connect. Bossa, he wants to finish Mom here, but Mom casually walks past the between They found Bambi though, and, and it's gonna be fine. Bambi goes into the prison. Flame shot comes out, Bambi. He's not gonna get out, you see? He gets out. They kill off Mao. But Mao is looking for Bambi. He should be able to kill him off. Yes, he does. But at a bigger price, though. They lose three members on the side of Orange. Oh, the clutch time journey from Blood saves the day. What a play there. He delayed the inevitable, yeah. but at the same time, bought enough time for Evo's SG to get the punish on the back line of Orange Esports. But meanwhile, Draco is gonna try and salvage his fight. But here comes Soul. He's gonna try and push it back here. But Davos is just so strong. Xbox is. Careful, Greg goes. Here I got Armor gone. Off. And now, so does he have enough damage? But looks like he will back off a bit. Yeah, it's, uh, so he managed to destroy the Firaga armor, means that he should be able to protect that tier 1. Yes, he does. He was SG. They managed to hold on. It's a great trade. They, they got three members. Unfortunately, not Ma, though. Ma is still able to kill off Odin Bambi. Uh, as uh, Bambi was kind of isolated, but here comes Silo. Smart Missile goes on the line, tries to toss him back, but the reverse time actually bought some distance line with the time journey. Will bring his up to safety, but Ma will kill him off regardless. Although Obridus is there, but Ma is ready for round number two. Gets knocked back by the flame shot. Tempest of Blades gets used as well. Not able to claim Bambi, but Grango does manage to kill off Soul. But on the top side as well, Mal and Eric been making the work here. JPL tries to make a play from Evo's SG, but he's all by himself. Where's the backup here? Here comes JPL with the flicker. Bought it on time, so that's gonna be a close call. But RG Force is still on the bottom side here. But here comes the diggy. Lord hiding in the trees. Zero has flicker though. Come, but no, no commitment yet here. Four people on Evo's SG. No backup available. And they're in no situation to contest RG Force yet. They can't commit because Lund has no time journey as of yet. And uh, you don't really want to fight into Orange East, but without that ability, JPL, Iron's Revenge is ready, but no, they decided to coil off.
taking a chill pill here. Evos SG losing the economy department here. Orange Esports somehow managed to always stack up their Turtle economy, resurrecting but soon. it feels to me Evos SG, they want to play from behind here, hoping the late game they were able to achieve uh, the damage output that they need, but still, for now, Orange Esports they're just gonna go run rampant with whatever drop they have. Blood getting focused down, he's getting surrounded here. Bambi oh. is and Diggy instantly gets first down. Bambi gets surrounded as well, and it's gonna be a double kill for Mal from behind. Game the out. Where's the follow up? Force of the ultimate or Blade Tap was coming out from Mal. He's gonna go back off his day. Here comes So and JPL. He's gonna finish off the rest of the member, but the flicker for Mal catches on the whip, and Orange Esports they lose only two. They get a two for two trade, and Evos somehow. Manages to go for the trades. But Oof. on the bottom side as well. Yeah, the split push coming in from Grango. Mouse still caught up by GPL with the bouncing ball, but they don't have the damage, so it's gonna buy some time. Grango should be able to get that tier 2 in the bottom lane. Yes, so not able to reach that in time, but uh, Forza was playing pinball with the ultimate just now. It, it bounced amongst four members. They were able to trade 2 in return, so that was kind of, kind of okay. Unfortunately, Mal still survives, so it was actually they want to go for this turtle and they will secure it. It goes over to Fossa, but Orange Eastwall comes for the collapse. Time didn't use as well. They will give up JPL. Link has been a force to be reckoned with your Orange East for showing Evos HG. Do not disrespect Mal's Link. Six kills so far with the Bounty Hunter. He's gonna try and apply even more pressure. Evos SG, they have to back up. Fossa is a little bit too far. The insanity is there. The stun from Camilla catches a Fossa. Can he survive? No time journey. He gets first enough. Air is right in front of his face. But now on the back lines as well. Silo, they're gonna be focusing on the soul. He's super tanky. Do they able to peel them off? He's so Holy tanky cow. and they are forced to back off Orange East boss. They get the important kill. They lose Eren, but Fossa is down for the count and Mao is still alive. Wow, it, uh, so much commitment, but they only got one in return. Wouldn't say that it's completely worth, but props to Evos SG, able to survive in that situation. Lung, that's, that, that definitely has to be careful because one of the biggest counters to the Diggy is definitely it is the Ling. And uh, Mari is constantly looking for the Lunars, for the Bruno, for the Diggy. 6 and 0 so far, uh, a start just like game 1, what Orange Esports needed. You just need to maintain that lead. Exactly, but Mal now trying to be a little bit cheeky here, he tries to steal the red buff, but unfortunately to say, he's all by himself, he doesn't want to overextend his stage. JPL is already going for the wraparound, they see Aaron from JPL, and Aaron uh, pops the first kill here. He's gonna try and go steal for the game here, they need more summon the red buff, Mal is holding it in, he's waiting for the right moment, they're gonna put back off instead, so that's gonna be oh. red buff, so here, JPL from behind, tries to catch the link, unfortunately to say, Mal will escape on the whip. Now, Orange Esports bought some time for Grango to split push, but so is there to match the aggression. Guardians Barrel comes in, and Orange Esports will secure that tier 1 in the middle lane. And this is where Celo has the flicker, so all eyes are on this jawhead. He might, if he catches the course off, I think they can assassinate the course immediately, especially Forza, who has the flicker to work with, but unlike Lunox, no order of brilliance uh, kind of skill for this hero. Yep, as of now here, Grango on the X for uncontested here. Finally has the Rose Gold Meteor, so it's a little bit more sustainable on the lanes here. So USG might have a little bit trouble with the, the export here, but now Solo Turtle coming in from Mao. Mao does have all the buffs available. Evo SG, they have to have, be careful here. There's going to be a lot of bursts coming in from this thing. He does have the Blade of Despair and the Endless Battle as well. Ooh, glowing one now purchased by Eren. Evo SG, they need to defend this top. Tier 2, JPL is there alongside with Soul. The rest of you actually will join in. Mom has to dash away with the wild charge. Orange Esports forced to disengage, but they immediately make a rotation to the middle lane. So Evos SG, they need to answer two structures at once. They clear middle lane, top lane though, in jeopardy, and Orange Esports will claim it. Yep, at the same time here, Drago will be applying the pressure as well, but Eren, despite having only the going one here, uh, Evos SG, they're just afraid of their output here. I'm surprised the magic. Uh, magic, magic emblem up on, on Carmilla is working out for the Drango. Now has the bomb flag. Viraga armor burst down, but he still has the immortality here. But on the bottom side as well, Silo trying to make a play from Orange Esports. Because SG, they are riding on the momentum of Orange Esports right now. They are responding to every move. Yeah, and this is what Evos actually needs to do. You kind of need to keep track of where Orange Esports is because now they are in the top lane and all five members of Evos SG, no one is there. They're leaving, this, this top inhibitor is going to go down, they do manage to pick up Silo though. Mao will take that structure away, so not here in time, Mao now needs to get away, he does leap to safety, they were not able to claim anything, he was SG. My goodness, they are backing off indeed here, they lose an inhibitor, but Gringo tries to steal the two buff, Evo 
Dunox, he needs to make a play here. Bambi, can he do it here? There's only two guys, but now the Dunox does appear to group up, but no commitment so far from Evo's. Quick flicker coming from Gringo. This superior macro game from Orange Esports, they were able to get a split push in, and they found so. If so, dies is gonna be a super bad, but guess what? A great Tyrant's Revenge! They're gonna kill off the Carmela, but Mao will be able to get out to safety. Mao is definitely gonna be the key hero here for the side of evil that she's taken out here. It's been a huge factor. At the same time, Grego has been applying pressure time and time again. Can they do this here? Tyrant Rage. Nope, doesn't connect. Seems good, but RG is about they're opening the map. And Mao is still uncontested right now. He's not died a single time. And Evo Zashi, they're trying to drag this as long as they can. Uh, they, they need to. Sure. They, they need to drag the game. They need to drag the game for Bambi and Forza to come online as Mao goes for the face check. Not able to be pulled back by the reverse time. Immune to crowd control. That is the perks of face checking with a grog. And Mao is just going to keep repeating this. They will secure the Lord though. It's pretty obvious to Evo's SG that Orange Esports is doing the Lord and Evo's is just going to concede that. There's no way they can contest. The crunk here, how about Bambi? They close the control meeting on Mossa as well. A little bit more sustained ability, but the Lord will be secure for Orange Esports. And people were saying before, Orange Esports one of the most scariest teams to expect here. And they're giving Evo's SG a run for their money now. Yeah, I'm surprised that Evo's SG is having so much problems dealing with Orange Esports. But, but props to Orange Esports for putting out such an amazing fight. And now with the Lord in their favor, they should be a. They should be able to take down at least another in the turret. As Mal is waiting, Bambi and JP out. Though they're sticking together, if they kill Mal, he was actually will have a chance to come back. Yep. At the same time here, Orange Esports, Drango, they have not died a single time yet as well. So it's going to be a tough one to actually kill Mal. Evil SG. They have to defend against this here. JPL and Gopra getting pushed back now, losing the tier 2 as well. The Lord's gonna be knocking on the top side as well. Evo's SG, they might actually lose this game. Orange Esports. Orange Esports trying to go for the win. Evo's SG, they need to defend this, Mount. but Mao dives right in. Tempest of the Council are alive with a great time journey. They need to kill Mao, can they though? Look at the stalkers from Orange Esports. They're going for the main objective. They need to kill off the crystal. Evo's SG need to kill off the Lord, they do. They managed to get the immortality up from Grango. Last attack just come out. It gets broken now. Fraga armor is gone, and so goes the retaliation. He was actually mouse and superior defense, and they will take three from Orange Esport. They hold on with their dying breaths. Over extension coming for Orange Esports, rushing the crystal, and they get punished heavily here. He was actually is there, but here comes Mouse trying to burst out. Blade attack, but is there? Forza Legendary. is still available. Can he burst out in time here? The bouncy balls are there, but they can't seem to touch Mao here. It's just so quick here. Mom is there. Forza needs a little bit more items, but like you said, they still manage to hold on. Evo's SG, they're not giving up yet. Yeah, definitely not the end for Evo's SG yet, but Ma Mal is definitely the main issue. He's one-shotting all these squishy members from the side of Evo's SG, and I think without Mal, Evo's SG can definitely be a bit more greedy to go for those objectives. But the next push from Orange Esports might be the final push to end it all. They just need one more Lord. This, this is interesting here, Husky. They're giving Mao all the time red buffs and blue buffs with one shot everyone. And it's been working out for them. And the rest of them, they don't exactly need buffs. But at the same time, this is where experience comes into play. Evo's SG, they're setting up shop. Will they be able to fight against Orange Esports? Orange Esports, they're giving them a run for their money here. And Aaron, can he make the plays here? If you're Evo's SG right now, you need to be the one to pull the trigger. You, you cannot wait for Orange Esports to crash into your base once more. They can just, they can, they will take your turrets and that is, and the next one will just end the game. So Evo's SG, they need to be the initiators. They need to be the proactive ones. And they're trying to look for those opportunities now. So, Sports of Grango, not the target that you want to go for. So he's just going to buy time for the rest of his team. But Orange Esports, if they continue to do this to push the wave in, then Evo's SG might not be able to make it out. And now Elias Sandy comes in, Mom is there as well, four members on top of Soul Soul. He can't die, but he does! Here comes JBL for the re-engage, but they get blocked out by the Guardians Barrier though. Evo's SG, they might be forced to take this fight and give out the turret in the middle lane, but they, they get nothing in return. No, oh my goodness here. Evo says she's so a little bit too far off. Here comes the ejector from Silo, gets pulled back. Oh well. my goodness! Forza. Ooh, and Bambi as well. Bursting him down with the Darker Ding, and they're looking for more. That's gonna be a one for one trade here. That's the kill that they need here. And at the same time, Orange Esports, they're still holding on. Same goes for Evo's SG. This middle tower is still going to stand. 40 seconds left before the Lord comes in. They have to make another play. Silo is going to be on the sidelines for 30 seconds. So, 10 seconds for them. And this is going to be an opportunity here. Do they contest the Lord or do they still play the base defense? They, I think they need to kind of, they need to be proactive. They need to push out the wave and get a pick up onto Orange Esports. Because I don't think they can defend against the second Lord, especially when it is enhanced. So Evo's SG, they managed to defend that mid inhibitor turret, which is the best case scenario for them. But they are definitely not out of the woods yet. Definitely, at the same time, Mao is 
gonna wait for the buffs here, but the, as of now, Evo SG, there are five men available. Silo just re re respawned from the base Lord, as well, before he was choking them in the base, so might be in some trouble, but Grango is getting more stuff, but the Lord has just spawned. You can see Mao already making his way towards the Lord. Evo SG, they have to make a play. Do they push in or do they push out? Because currently, there's three members blocking their charades here. As you can see, the jaw hit and mount already focusing Lord is already on half HP. Evil SG is now or never. It's too late. Lord has been taken here. Orange Ace Bot, they're going in again. JPL trying to make some kind of plays, but it's not working out. Orange Ace Bot just need to be disciplined and wait for the Lord to come crashing in and they can end the game. No problem. I think they definitely ha this game is theirs to lose. If they were not able to end this game, then I then it's either Evil SG played amazingly in terms of defense or Orange Ace got, got impatient because at this point, at this day of the game, it feels like there is it's almost impossible to not break the crystal with this Lord. Definitely here, but at the same time, Camilla is also going a lot more damage here. So he was SG, the pay attention items here. The only magical defense item is only the Curse Hammer, which is up on Kufra. So slowly but surely, this Camilla is going to rack up a lot of damage over time if he was SG is not too careful about this. Uh, he was SG, I, I'm trying to find a way for them to hold on to this. They, because one of the ways for them to defend is to push out of the base, but it's impossible when Orange Eastwood have all lanes, all three lanes shoved in. Their best bet is to defend against destruction, but Orange Eastwood is just going to brute force their way to take out this mid inhibitor and they will do so. So Evo's SG, they need to make sure the Lord doesn't crash in. Two lanes for them to defend, and then the same time want to deal with Jawhead as well. Okay, the time journey being based on as well. The Lord is going to come in, the Sanity Geek coming from Orange Eastwood. Sports. They're going to go in, Bambi pops the Brilliance here. He's going to back off, JPL, half HP, but he goes down. He gets bursted down from Mao and the Legendary for them. The Lord still has two more bars. Bambi will get caught up, it's so from the side, getting focused down. The Crystal is going to be exposed, and they will lose this game. And Orange Esports takes game number two with a convincing fashion and uh, my oh my husky i was so super tanky and this time <laughs> oh. was, they won't deny yes. the thing away okay yeah steal it away if you, place play. Okay. If you cannot ban it you, you steal it why not okay it's definitely gonna be an interesting take because we all know Forsa is known to play marksman traditional marksman bambi is a uh, traditional mage having this link in the mix i want to see how uh, bambi performs on this hero because it's, it's definitely a different kind of Playstyle. You don't just sit back and land feather airstrikes. Now you have to move forward. And well, Orange Esports, they're gonna mirror that. What happened in game one? They're gonna lock in the far side and carry for themselves. Carry. Okay, they're gonna far respect side. that here. Cecilia will Your be banned here from some Orange picking. Esports. But Evo says she. What kind of mages are gonna go here? That's a. Wait, really? Alucard? <laughs> really? Nah, I think I think they're gonna go for the Valor. Yeah. Or maybe even the Nana pick up here if they want to. Um, I think Nana is okay. Yeah, Nana is okay against the Marsha as well, but oh. seems to be they're back at the Uranus. Hey. Oh, back, back, uh, hey. back with the Uranus once more. But this time with the link though, so I'm not sure if it works, Kimi. but they are going to go for the Kimmy here. And yeah, I think picking. it's a smart pick up here from Evo's uh, SG. If you think about it, they were having troubles with the early aggression. Mm -hmm. Now we have Kimmy, who's strong in the early phase. Creep clear is pretty okay as well. Soul can can cut the creep waves. I think it's okay as well. And they know that Orange Esports had the Kimmy in the first game. Uh, oh yeah, uh, first series. You know, it was them as well. It was the first. Games, no, right? first he, game. He was, was, he was was having Kimmy as well. No, he, he was a carry. Orange oh, yeah. had Kimmy. Yeah. So the, the Kimmy was one of the factors that uh, they were struggling as well in the early phase. So this time they want to keep up with the terms the early aggression. Ooh. So I guess that's gonna be. Uh, a good matchup, I guess. But the Cho denying from JPL, I like it. But Orange Esports, huh? Wow. Okay. So the Cho, I mean, both teams have Cho players. I am expecting this one to be a Mum Cho. Yeah, it should be a Mum Cho. But either way, it could, it could be Mum or Zero. They both played Cho before, so now it's gonna be another ban. Evil actually Your they ban on the is Harif, so they are worried that uh, Farsa goes into the support role. I. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I guess it's a it's a justifiable. That's concern. the thing. Evo actually they play. Eh, sorry, I, it wasn't Evo actually. It was resurgence who played far side in a support role, so it's understandable why they don't exactly want to deal with it as well. It's kind of annoying to do with. We have there's so many heroes that you have to worry about. Uh, yeah, Aaron, what do they ban here? Like marksman? No, they don't exactly need a marksman. Oh, they just need the thing already. Yeah, picking. the Valer is a good ban, but they still have the Nana available unless they deny it away from them. Mm. If Orange Evo picks Nana, it then no, then I'm expecting like I don't know a jaw hit, uh final pick. 
it, it's kind of a uh, because they have they don't have like the two chicks right yeah there we go jaw hit so Your nana is still kind of open in the pool picking. because between those two i think jaw hit is a better pick compared to a nana to deal with the link but that's the thing right like evils was struggling against that already because of all those creep clear potential so right now evils if they pick another creep clear uh hero who can control the tempo of the game they're 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 messed up but at the same time hellkurt is in the pool hayabusa in the pool i don't see evils play that too much but they can consider it taking a page off the books coming in from uh, Carmilla, uh from smg but your team Carmilla. is okay picking. Carmilla and Diggy. Uh, who's gonna be playing the off lane though? Oh no, it's gonna be an off lane. Uh, yeah. Off lane Uranus. Uranus. Okay, makes sense. It makes sense now. You got me confused for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, it just makes sense. It makes sense. So Kimmy should go mid. It makes sense. Uh, sorry, um, Marksman. Uh, Forza. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, this this actually makes sense. Like Evo's actually they're gonna be playing it, the refined version of game number one. Lama. Uh, gonna be a rematch here, but the Tam was here to deal with them. So we have the Uranus, Orange Esports. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough battle here. But Tank Cho, um, with Tank Jawhead, and yep. then it's gonna be an off lane Tamus. So we are gonna be playing a repeat of game number one. I, I always like game number one. This is gonna be a close <laughs> one again. Yeah, I this whole series has been close. I think exactly. today we've been getting uh, even though they have been, there are two O's, but all the games have been just neck and neck. Mm -hmm. I believe like. The second series could have easily gone to game three if not for Todax's small mistakes. So, what a way to close out the day! To potentially close out the day, it was SG against Orange Esports. Orange Esports, obviously, they're facing their greatest fear uh, in the domestic league, whereas it was SG, they have their vision set. But they need to get past this obstacle. Of course. And of course, for those of you watching at home as well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last match of today here. Orange Esports Reborn, game number three, going up against Evo's SG, both Welcome tying the series here. Legends. Well, who is going to take them all here? Because currently, this is going to be game number three. But for now, I'm going to, you know, just bait you a little bit here. Spence yeah. is going to be I was about to. Us. Yeah. I was about to claim the codes. <laughs> yeah. How would you know? How would I know? Okay. So let's talk about the drafts here because like if you think about Uranus, it's just super tanky. He's gonna play the split push potential mm -hmm. with the Carmilla on top of the nah, the Diggy as well. I think like they have the all rounder ish uh, all rounded ish thing. And I feel like they're gonna do the exact same thing and what Orange did here. Put all their eggs in the basket of where uh Bambi is gonna be playing here. Taking both buffs potentially. Kimi doesn't exactly need the buffs that much, maybe blue buffs, but I feel like Link needs it more than the Kimmy. Yeah, and it's definitely harder for Link to attempt to backline Orange Esport because we've seen Cho being effective. Now you oh, have yeah. Cho and Jaw Hit. Uh, carry, at, uh, when you you are going to reach a point where it's hard to kill off the carry uh, on your own. So for us, it's probably the most obvious target. But Orange Esports have proved to us twice where you give Link a good lead, he basically becomes your main carry. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time here, um, basing on how Evo SG is trying to dictate terms of the momentum of the game, they have to be extremely careful about uh, running in towards the people of Orange Esports because mm -hmm. Orange Esports, they have what they call the ejector seat. You know, you just eject <laughs> someone out of place and then you catch out of position, you burst him down. And if you get the timings wrong, it's going to mess up because at the same time here, you must understand Orange Esports who plays links a lot, you must understand that they know the ins and outs of those heroes. Same like how Resurgence is, right? Like, with Farsa. Yeah, we've seen on Farsa. He's, he's a master of it. They know how to deal with a Farsa. And every time enemy takes a Farsa, we know how to deal with it. And if Orange Esports pulls a play like that on towards Evo's SG, that's going to be the biggest slap in this entire regular season. Yeah, but I also feel like um, Evo's SG, when they, when they started off uh, week one, everyone was like, okay, Evo's SG... Uh, probably the strongest team, or probably the team that's going to take the trophy once more, uh, be the repeat champions. We kind of ignore, we, we were like, okay, Kick Fam is good, Boss Queen is good, but it was actually some top. Yeah. And then week two happened. Uh, day, sorry, day two happened where Kick Fam just trashed Evo's SG, and now we were like, oh, Kick Fam and Resurgence is pretty good. Now we're in this predicament where Evo's SG is struggling against Orange Esports Reborn. So where do they stand? It's a tough call to make, honestly speaking. But uh, at the same time, it all comes down to their moment momentum and mm -hmm. sometimes it comes a little bit of luck as well but uh i it uh, comes down to how much you study truthfully speaking like how much you know opponents and we have always talked about dark horses right yeah if you think about it uh in the previous season Todak was one of the teams that people know they were strong 
they haven't made it to the professional league. They came in from the open qualifiers, they went in the regular season, they topped the charts. No one knows exactly how to deal with them besides the local Malaysian scenes. And and Singapore teams had a lot of problems dealing with them. But Evo City Sports eventually found a way through. But now it's the same thing here. We might see a repeat here because Orange Esports Reborn, not many teams know about them. Because if you think about it, uh, Silo hasn't been playing for quite some time. He was from AirAsia Siren. Siren, Siren yeah, Reborn, yeah. sorry. Yeah. It was a long time. Flame oh shots, three flame shots being dished out. Aaron forced the back off, and I agree with you. It's gonna be a support for already. Okay, so I think no. Aaron, Aaron plays mage. Right? Oh wait, Aaron plays mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I okay. would be pleasantly surprised if it's a support Farsa. No, no, no. It's it's pure mage Farsa. But yeah, Evos SG here now. They're gonna be contesting. Yeah, they have the Kimi here. They can overextend their pusher. At the same time, Jawhead is going to be really setting up the raid buff for the carry to play with here. Eric going to be farming his way through. But Evos SG there, can they control the maps control, uh, properly here? Because now they're relying on Fossa and JPL on the Camilla. Yep, it's the Mam Cho for sure. Mam, Mam Cho was the, was the factor that won them against Axis Esport in that and that gave them a comeback in week one. And now Silo gets the flicker. Ijella, nowhere to go. First blood goes over to Aaron. And he was actually trying to make something happen. But Fossa, what, what are you doing? He's in a very dangerous spot. He does go down, but they trade it back. Odio Bambi kills on one. Try to go for two. Double kill for Odio Bambi. Can he go for more though? Mom, not in a good spot. Gets stunned up. They're going to commit triple kill for Bambi. And Evo's SG answer back. Nicely done there from Bambi here. Taking all both blue buff and red buff, he's able to secure the kill. But at the same time, I agree what you said. Fossa overextended his push there a little bit here, but because of that, he get paid to slide. But at the same time, it was the setup for a bigger picture here because Bambi has got a triple kill with the Bounty Hunter. Great start here for Evo's SG. Oh, another flame shot. Uh, two to be exact onto Aaron. Aaron being dropped low again. This is the best start for Ling uh, across the series. Three kills in an instant. I think. Bambi is uh, feeling pretty happy about that and he even had Bounty Hunter as well so a huge goal injection for this link. Yep, Bossa without a buff here but still being able to contest uh, whatever zonings here that they need here from Evo's SG. So is gonna do soul things again on the Uranus, no surprises there. Orange Esports now gonna be playing a little bit aggressive oh, here but Bambi yeah. trying to go for the dive here. Blade Tempest is there but the Vengeance has been popped up and Grengo is gonna be A-OK. -okay. Yeah and uh, Oh, we're going to be testing his limits right there. Um, good attempt to try to kill off Grango, but Fighter Emblem plus Vengeance. Nah, not, not, not happening. Meanwhile, Feather Edge right coming out from Eren uh, to push back Lun again, forcing out the time journey as well. But as of now here, Mao does have the red buff, but as of, the turtle is going to be resurrecting in three seconds here. And Evo says she's already in spot. They want to contest this. <laughs> they stole the spirit, the, the river sprite with uh, Kim, with Forsas' ultimate, I think. Well played. What a snipe. So uh, lucky for Mom. Yeah, there you yeah, go. He stole it. He stole it. What, what, that feels bad moment right there. Yeah. Now the turtles can be contested as well. And Orange Esports, I don't think they want to fight this here, but can oh. they still win the Farsa? Nope. It's gonna be the baby is still safe here now. Going for the dive as well. JPL will focus on the mom. The Kimi will kill him off. Farsa is there. But now they're dropping so low and Silo is gonna back off and Bambi is gonna transition in the top side here. And Evo's SG, very dominant performance in this game. Yeah, and I and I like the fact that Evo's SG, they know that they're on blue side, and they immediately take the link away. They were, they, they were like, there's Diggy, there's Jawhead, there's Joe. Screw that, we're taking link because we have a link player and we deny it from you as well. So we force you onto something that you are not comfortable. least comfortable with. Exactly. But this, speaking of which here, Mao going to be playing the carry here. He's uh, going to try and transition a little bit more props here. Red buff Ooh. up on him. Mao goes oh. there. He's going to be in some trouble. Gets caught up and stunned here, but no fall off available. Nice zoning coming from Eren, but that should be all. That is unfortunate for Mom, but well played by Lun as well. Mom wanted to shun Poe and use the ultimate, but the reverse type pulled him back. And he ended up kicking no one. Uh, he couldn't expand the... He doesn't want to expand the flicker for that as well. So... He was actually managing to dodge a bullet right there. So Guess what, Husky? Round two. Ding, ding, ding. So, Wussers. Drango. But at the same time here, Bambi is not too happy. Two games in a row, he was pressured hard. This time, he's going to outshine everybody. Four kills in a row. And look at where Bambi is. He's going he's gonna to execute faster. He found Aaron, and Aaron does not have the flicker. Has the flame shot to push Bambi away. But here comes the Tempest of Blade. They get the stun, and Bambi is unstoppable. They pull him out back. And that one will go to Forza. Mom wants to get the retaliation kill, but it's just a freebie for Oh Dear Bambi.
What a stomp here coming from Bambi. Six kills in the back here. This Ling should be banned completely, <laughs> judging on how they played it here. Double buffs available, blue and red buffs. So the secrets out coming from both these teams and Orange Esports just proved to them that this is going to be the meta here. And now experimented by Bambi and it's working out. Yeah, I feel like uh, Orange Esports have awakened the Tigers Turtle and he was actually definitely, uh, definitely showing their fangs in game 3. This is just a complete storm so far, but we've seen this story go both ways, right? Game 1, it was actually on the back foot, made a comeback. Game 2, Orange Esports, on the back foot for a while, made a comeback as well. But at the same time as well, this is no longer a Tiger Husky, this is a Saber too. However, here comes a Farsa with the help here, so it's gonna be zoned them out a little bit here. The buff gets stolen once again. JPL will have it in the bag, so... This is going to be very, very unfortunate events here for Morgi Esports. They need the blue buff up on Farsa and it seems to be they can't seem to find the pickoffs that they need though. Yeah, I think I think uh, it was SG. They're going to transcend from the Sabertooth to a Cerberus at one point. Mm -hmm. Where they are just tearing to Orange Esports but still benefit oh, of that. No. Oh, wow, the Bambi. Bambi. Got, like, ejected backwards. Does he have the ultimate? Yes, he does. Gets out. Time journey used by Lin as well to keep him safe. Ooh, the bomb is good. Still a It doesn't matter. JPL will snipe him down. Nice flame shot indeed here. Now Evo's SG. They're gonna be transitioning into this Look at second so. tower as well. So it's gonna be cutting the base as well. And no surprises there. And RG spot, they are in a turmoil here because Evo's SG, they're pulling up their fangs. They're gonna end this game quickly here. And RG spots, they are at a disarray right now as Bambi gonna be pushing the tier twos as well. Seven kills for him out of his mind. You know what they say? A wounded a wounded beast is at its deadliest. It's gonna bite back and he was actually there looking for the juggling. Oh my god, the flame shots and oh dear, Bambi goes in for the kill onto Aaron. He's gonna dash out with the Tempest of Blaze, so not in a good spot. Tries to jump up but runs into the wall instead, buy some time and gives out his life. Oh, he missed his jump right there, but at the same time, that's only so. It's only a tank. The bigger picture here is gonna be Bambi and Orange Esports. They haven't seemed to be able to catch him off. And oh now, Forza, gonna go for the poke here. The flame strikes are coming in long. They're just zoning you up with the Kimmy here. And uh, Orange Esports, they are struggling a little bit now. They've lost all their outer towers except for the bottom lane and because of Soul, but now they're going to be full force on bottom because Bambi is going to try and buy a little bit of time here. Four-man commitment and they can still can't catch Bambi at the moment. Now, what a turn of events. Evo's SG just Turtle, completely came online. Soon. Orange Esports are struggling to deal with Evo's SG. That is going to be a free turtle for Odia Bambi again. Yep. And Bambi, oh now, he's got all three buffs here. This is gonna be scary. JPL getting pushed back a little bit here, but this is a very tanky person here. Um, Courage Mass has been expanded as well. Orange Esports, how are they gonna catch it? They need to get a pick off here from Silo, but will they get the pick off here? Evos, they're zoning their way through. Tier 3 is gonna be a, a little bit pushed back, but Forza, once again with the Massing Mode Charge, gonna push his way through. So, gonna be pressuring their top as well. Mom needs to make some magic happen with the flicker. He did that once, but it's gonna be harder this time. Seal taking so much damage. Look at Bambi straight to the back line. He's gonna assassinate Aaron. Comes in with a Tempest of Blade. Goes on to Mount. Double kill for the Bambi. They kick him back. They need to kill him off, and they will find the kill. Shut him down. Orange Esports delayed the inevitable for now. Yep, that's gonna play the leader here from side of Orange Esports. A little bit of breeder for them, but they lose three at an expense here. They still have Rango to defend against this here, but at the same time. They have to worry about Soul because Soul is constantly in their base, cutting the creep wave, making sure to reset the stack. 20 stacks here, and now he's got a full creep, two creeps available. He's gonna pressure the lane here. The bottom tower is gonna be pretty much gone. Meanwhile, Bob. Bob out in the open here, getting caught out in between the Evos. They're just gonna buy time, and Cho will go down. And Evos actually gets another <laughs> one. So now transitioning to focus into the tier 2 down bottom lane. Wait, was Mom trying to cut the wave? Because. Yep. Yeah, it's it, it in it, it, a very. Dangerous position. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. The wave still crashed in the end. Uh, Orange Esports now, they are in a pretty bad spot. Inhibitor turrets are still up though. So Evos SG, they're, they're gonna wait for the next Lord to come up before 10 minutes and just go for that. There's, there's no need to rush at this point. They have to try to actually cut the creep wave, like it or not, because Soul is constantly just pressuring the lanes. Uh, but at the same time, no buffs for every of the members from side of Orange Esports now. And this is pretty much Evos SG's game to lose at the moment. Yeah, I, I, and I think uh, EVOS SG are in such a good lead that losing this game would be, like you said, not just a slap in the face, oh, but it would be a major upset. Soon. But I don't think losing is in their dictionary at this point. They have full control and 
Unless Bambi overextends, but he's got 10 kills. One death is fine, but two more? It's gonna be tro trouble here, but I don't think it's gonna happen here because right now, two buffs available and the Dawn is gonna be knocking in. Yeah. And none of the guys from Orange Esports can actually contest this at the moment. Yeah, they are being scarfed out in their base and all their Bambi just bought that VOD. We're gonna look at a decimation of the cores. Just watch as Bambi style on them, on, on Orange Esports. But now the push is gonna start coming out from Evos SG as they summon the Lord. Yep. At the same time here, top side is gonna be pressure here from the side of Soul and Orange Esports. I feel bad. What can they do here? They have, they have Silo and Gringo, but there's not too much they can do because this Jawhead is not exactly squishy. He needs to find a couple of picks, but my goodness, you can see Forza's maximum charge. It hurts like crazy. Oh, Instantly gets bursted down by Bambi here. Yeah, Bambi just sticks his sword in and, and takes out Silo. That's 30 seconds without the jaw hit. Lord's gonna crash into the top lane and Bambi in a very good spot. The moment, yeah, the moment Aerith is ultimate, Bambi's gonna go right in. So he's gonna dash right in as well. Temple of Blade drops down. Oh dear, Bambi goes for one more. This time it's Gre Grango. And I think Evo's SG, they're just gonna loot to close this out. The Cerberus has been awakened. Evo's SG, they look at the crystal. They're gonna pat their KDA a bit and they take down Orange Esports 2-1. Well, seems to me it seems to be a miracle run for Orange Esports, uh, and they could not make it here. Two fantastic performances from game.